The morning plan. Well, we all know what absenteeism is. It is being absent, say, from work or even relationships or life in general. Well, now there's a new term. It's called presenteeism, and it's a feeling of just sort of not being with it, not feeling with it, especially mentally on the job. So today, what causes it, some common causes, and how to fix the problem. And Dr. Madan Kandula is a board-certified ear, nose, and throat surgeon with Advent, and he's here with more on this condition. And I have a feeling that this is going to hit home with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, why? This is a new term for a lot of us, though. Is this something um, new that's coming up? Well, it's a new term for something that we've sort of recognized for a long time. But sometimes terms like this kind of, you know, hammer at home and say, well, you know, for us, it's been like, oh, yeah, that's that is what we've been dealing with because we deal with it, at, you know, from a uh, physician standpoint, day in, day out, we see and help, you know, thousands of people who are dealing with these issues. And a lot of folks deal with this stuff in silence and they are good troopers and they show up to work and they do, you know, try to do your mm -hmm. best and you're not doing your best. If you're, if you're not, you know, a, a lot of the stuff we deal with, if you're not breathing right, if you've got allergies that are killing you, if you haven't had a good night's sleep in forever, so forth and so forth and so on, then you can't be doing your best. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, though you show up and it's sort of, you know, it's just a day in, day out drag. And again, it's, it's, it's a lot of times it's in silence because nobody really, nobody else necessarily knows or can, you know, feel what you're, what you're going what you're through. you're struggling yeah. with. Well, yeah, and I think it's sort of good to give it a label yeah. in a way because people struggle with it and I bet once you describe it people are like oh yeah, yeah. I have that Absolutely. you know yeah. it's that sense and what I think is most fascinating about it is that the 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 reasons for it or sort of the causes in your opinion are things that are so common you yeah. mentioned them, allergies yeah. chronic Absolutely. sinus problems yep. headaches which is yep. always my issue yep. um, yep. the not breathing well even the lack of sleep yep. these things are affecting our ability to, to do our jobs and to probably feel good about about what we're doing at Absolutely. work. Absolutely. Yeah, and it, and it does. And a lot of times, even the person that it's happening to doesn't necessarily know that it's hindering them. But if anybody's gone to work with a cold or, you know, those sorts of things, or maybe stayed up too late and went, you know, went and went to work the next day, and you're just kind of dragging, you go through the motions, and it's just, it's not helpful. Um, what we've been doing actually as a practice is we actually started partnering with uh, some employers and saying, hey, you know, let's look into these issues. And we, we've actually gone to workplaces and, and um, have sort of mini consults with patients and talk about the things that we deal with and we can help with and the good thing with the things that we deal with is we can help um, you know we can keep folks up and running get you back to work you know the next day for a lot of our procedures and things like that so it's a nice fit and it's a perfect fit for, for what we do now so. we've talked about it we've been t telling everybody we're gonna make it better so mm -hmm. what what do we do then to to make it better because as you said the the causes can be Various. They're yeah, different absolutely. for everyone. So yeah, there are for the issues that we deal with as a practice. You know, allergies, chronic sinus issues, lack of breathing through the nose. That'd be n the number one issue. And so you know, first thing to make it better is figure out what's going on, mm -hmm. and we can do that very well. We can figure out whether there is a blockage anatomically. If it's, it is it allergy issues, you know, what's the situation, and then we can flip that around. So we can treat allergies. You know, if somebody's got an anatomic issue in the nose or the sinuses, we can get those areas opened up. We can do most of that stuff in the office nowadays and again keep somebody up and running so that's that's a really nice thing for for that part of things does so. it ever scare people when they when they, they they meet you or they think about seeing you because you're a surgeon mm -hmm. so I think a lot of times people think if I go to a surgeon he's gonna do surgery on yeah. me that's yeah. not always the, the no, best course of action. no it's not action. and I do plenty of surgery but we also we've an, I've got an allergist on staff and so for folks who've got nose and sinus issues you know it isn't and I've said this before it not one size fits all it's uh you know I, if, if there's an issue that we can come after we're gonna let you know about it mm -hmm. and you're gonna know about you know that we can go this way or that way if there's an issue that we can treat in a medical fashion um, then you're gonna know about that too and so to each their own you know so if somebody wants to get better that's that's sort of step one step two is getting in to figure out what your options are step three is you know on us to get them better so, right and yeah. that's the converse to that for somebody who does deal with sinus issues I can say going to a surgeon makes me feel better because I think he's gonna tell me if I need <laughs> surgery and we're gonna yeah. do it I'm gonna right. be better better yeah. for it so yeah. that's fantastic so um, again we want to make sure everybody knows how to get a hold of you as well mm -hmm. um, and uh, you have the uh, office on Mayfair Road in Tosa and also another one Port Washington Road in Mequon and uh, the phone number here 414-771-6780 and you can go to advent.md to get more information as well. So don't let presenteeism make you <laughs> absent from life. I like that because it's a quality of life issue, but what you get to is that it's a quality of work issue mm -hmm. as well. I right. like Absolutely. that. Yep. Thank you so much, yep. Dr. Thanks Great for to see me. you. Thank you.